Hey friends, Melinda here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I post effective workouts so we can sweat, sculpt, burn, and transform together. If you're new here, make sure that you consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification to be notified on all of my latest news and workouts. Today, I'm bringing you a 15-minute dance-inspired leg sculpting series, targeting all of the muscles within our lower body. We'll shape and tone the inner and outer thighs, glutes, hamstrings, and calves. You don't need any equipment today, just your mat and dedication, so let's get going. Before we get started, I wanted to give a quick shout out to my new online fitness studio at embodiment360.com. I'm incredibly thrilled to now offer a monthly subscription service where you can enjoy access to my entire video library, including a variety of workout lengths and styles, from low impact cardio, dance and Pilates inspired sculpt, as well as strength and flexibility training. I'd love for you guys to come by and try out the free seven day trial with absolutely no commitment. Hope to sweat and sculpt with you all soon over at the Embodiment 360 studio. Starting in a quadruped position, wrists go directly underneath those shoulders and those knees are going directly underneath those hips. We'll cross at our ankles, maybe coming down to that right forearm. We're gonna lift into an attitude shape and then slowly come back down. So we're lifting attitude, squeezing the gluteal and crossing at those ankles. You can be lifted up or down onto that forearm. So you can be lifted here, I like to come down because that gives me a little bit more range of motion to work with. Make sure that you're not dumping into your spine or dumping into that low back like this. Make sure that you're scooping the belly in. Really suction cup the navel into the spine. Knee going out to the side body. Breathe, slow and controlled, nice and steady here. Lift and lower, let's hold it, pulse it, we pulse. Knee goes out to the side. Pull the low abdominals in, press, inhale, exhale, keep that shape. Now let's extend it out and in. We reach attitude extension, out, in, and press. Reach the toe away as if I'm pulling on that leg. Push and press, out and in, breathe. Lengthen it out. Four, three, now let's flex the foot to engage the derriere a little bit further. Lift. So once we flex that foot, we get deeper into that gluteal head. Burn so good, right? We're feeling that glute burn. Four, three, two, last one from here, coming all the way up. We're gonna take an arabesque lift and lower. So again, you can be lifted up or you can come down into that right forearm, working that left gluteal, scoop the belly in. Again, do not compromise your form to try to hike it up. So that, I don't wanna see that. I really wanna work on scooping navel to spine. It's not about the height. It's about how we execute. Breathe, it's the quality of the movement. Breathe it, inhale, exhale, slow and steady. Three, two, hold it up. We pulse. Slight externally rotated leg on that working leg. Press, now flex it right here, flex it, press eight, eight, seven, six in five. You've got four, you've got three. Little circle up and around, baby circle. Make sure that you maintain your pelvis. Be nice and quiet with the hips. For four, three, two, last one. Give yourself a little stretch because guess what? We've got to do it on the opposite side. We of course do not want to be lopsided. So from here, we're going to come down onto that left forearm, cross at your ankles, working that right gluteal this time. Scoop the belly in, knee going out to the side. Again, no arching in your back, don't dump into your back. Squeeze that core tight, drop the shoulders down. Also make sure that your hips aren't opening towards me. Make sure that those hip bones are shining down 
to your mat. You're maintaining this attitude shape the entire time. So I really want you to maintain that shape. You're lifting and lowering. Squeeze slowly down with control. Lift with control, lower it down. Engage for four, three, two, hold in pulse. Baby pulse, little one inch pulses. Knee out to the side. Maintain control. Four, three, two, extend it out right here. Attitude extension, lengthen. Zipper up that core, lengthen that toe away. Reach it, so it's as if you are lengthening the toe as far as you can away from the body. Reach it out. Four, three, you've got the presses with a flexed foot coming up. Flex that foot right here. Take it out, take it in, squeeze. So we're working hamstring and gluteal with the flexed foot. Mind to muscle groups that we're working. Squeeze. It's that visualization that helps us engage even further. Right here, we prop up. We've got the lift, so you can be lifted here into that arabesque lift, or you can come back down into the forearm. Again, I like this forearm position because I get a little bit more range of motion and it helps me to protect the back and focus on really keeping my core engaged and braced this entire time. Breathe, inhale, exhale, slow and controlled. Lift and lower, drop the shoulder down. In four, three, hold it to the top right here. We pulse. Pulse, lift, four, three, flex the foot right here, we take it up, in four, three, circle it up and around, in four, three, two, last one, little stretch, inhale, and exhale, right away we go into a sideline position from here, extend those legs nice and long. We're gonna prop up onto our left forearm or to our left elbow. We've got a passe lift and lower. So we're actually rotating our legs into first position, our heels are pressing forward, our knee is shining up to the ceiling, lift up and out, passe slide. So we come up. So our knee is going to shine up to the ceiling. Shining our inner thigh forward. Now from here, you're gonna hold that passe, rotate the knee down, tap it, and lift. Use this front palm to help brace your body and control the movement a little bit more. Make these movements smooth and control. Fluidity behind the motion, breathe. Pressing the heel forward as we open up into that passe for four, three, two, develop the leg up, out to the side body, and lengthen. So we pull into passe, into attitude, extend it, lengthen it away. Inner thigh shines forward, knee up, extend it, and press, slow and steady, lift, reach, stretch it away. So we're taking that right hip, stacking it immediately on top of the bottom hip. So we're stacking our hips, nice and steady here. Breathe it in four, three, two, last one. We've got a bat ma, point, flex. Point the toe, flex and press. Inhale, exhale and squeeze. Breathe. So we've got that quick lift 
and slowly lowering down with control. Inhale, sculpting those beautifully strong lean legs up. Point and flex, engage the inner thighs as you hug those legs together for four, three, two, last one. From here, we're gonna go into inner thigh sweeps. So we're gonna prop up and out of our left forearm, sweep and press. That right knee is up to the ceiling behind us, sweep. Make sure that you're really pressing that shoulder down and away from the ear. So inner thigh sweeps, we're working that adductor muscle here. I promise to sculpt the entire leg, so we're getting it all today. Now right here, diagonal sweep, diagonal inner thigh sweep. Careful that you don't get complacent here. Prop yourself up, lift up. It's really about how we execute these mo movements. If we're being sloppy and we're not really focused on our form, then we're not gonna see the results. We're not gonna get the 100% results that we could. Breathe. So do your best. Focus on that form, hold it. We pulse it, lift it, lift it. We're almost done with this side for four, three, and two. Last one. Bring it in for a moment. Inhale, exhale. Guess what? We've got the opposite side. Again, we've got to balance our bodies out. So we're propping up onto our form. Breathe it and press. Now from here, not just yet, we're gonna go down to our elbow, jumping the gun. Inhale and exhale. So we've got to do our passe list before we get into that ending section. Lift it and lower it. Knee shines up to the ceiling and press. So you're sliding up. So think of a permanent marker on your toe tip and you're drawing a line up your leggings. Hold it, passe in, open press. Passe in, open press. Control your pelvis, try to not wiggle and wobble, stay stabilized, and that is with your core musculature. Keep your core braced this entire time. Lift, inhale, exhale it out for four, three, two, last one. Develope that leg up, knee, extend, and squeeze. Slide up to your passe, lift that knee as high as you can, into your armpit and press into your shoulder. Press, lift, heel shines forward. Keep the hips stacked, so try not to roll your hips. Keep your hips stacked. Lengthen, heel presses forward. Inhale, exhale. Keep going, you've got this. Stay with me, stay strong. We can do this together. We can put the effort in together. Now, Batma. Heel forward, flex and squeeze that inner thigh region. Press. So it's a quick lift. And a slow lower down. You'll also feel the obliques working here. So getting some bonus muscle groups in there as well. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze, breathe. Drop the tension in your shoulders. Lift and lower for four, three, two. Last one, now we prop up to that forearm and we've got those inner thigh sweeps. We've got that. Left knee shining up to the ceiling and we're sweeping that right leg. So we're lifting through this side body, pushing down that shoulder, working at that adductor here. Breathe. Focus on that control. Right away, we go into our diagonal inner thigh sweep. 
press. Lift. Squeeze. So you're rocking to the meaty part of your gluteal to lift that leg into that inner thigh sweep. Press it, we are almost done. Breathe, hold it. Be proud of all of the work that you're doing today. Strengthening our bodies from head to toe. Breathe it out, go four, three, two, last one. Pull it in just for a moment. Now let's stretch. Open those knees out to a butterfly stretch. We're gonna press down inner thigh for four, three, two, last one. Take it to the opposite side, pressing gently to that inner thigh, up and out. Inhale, exhale it out for four, three, two. Now crossing left under the right, and we're just gonna stretch forward. So this is a great stretch for your gluteals, your hips. We did a lot of work for that booty. So you might be feeling tight here, maybe walking those fingertips forward, drop those shoulders, inhale, exhale. Hold it here for four, three, two, last one, come up. You've got the opposite side, so just crisscross the opposite side, and then we'll press the hips down in to the floor as we inch those fingertips forward. Drop those shoulders down away from the ears. Sink your gluteals towards the mat. Inhale. On the exhale, you deepen. Inhale. Exhale it out. Holding here for four, three, two. Last one. Slowly coming up from here. Take a breath. Inhale up. Exhale, one more in with that positive energy, and then exhale, let it go. If you're looking for more dance and Pilates inspired workouts, be sure to check out my online studio where I offer a variety of workout lengths and styles to keep you strong, fit, and fierce. Head on over to embodiment360.com today to start your free trial. Awesome work, friends, and I hope to sweat it out with you soon again.